What is up everyone? I want to do a fun little quick video. All the time when I do my painting videos and do videos over here on the side, I get asked all the time through comments, messages, DMs, what's all the stuff behind me? And I thought it'd be kind of a fun little video to go over all the different things that I have in my collection that I can share with you that I use to paint. Now this video is going to be real quick, real fun, and I'll do my best to show you where I got it, how much it costs, just in case you want to get it. But let's go up, move over to the table so that way I can actually show you in depth what everything is. So here we go. All right, so we're over at the table and anything that you like in this video, I'm going to put down in the video description below. And we're going to start with the thing you see all the time in my videos, which is my liquid mediums. Now, these are just two cans. It comes in liquid white, liquid clear and liquid black. And they usually run about 20 bucks. And I found the easiest place to always get them is generally on Amazon. Some other mediums you don't see too often from the Bob Ross Company is the basic painting oil medium. This is generally used for the flowers and everything like that. This comes in right around six bucks. And then something you never see is the glazing medium, which is actually, I believe you can use for the flowers and wildlife pack, which we'll get into at a later point. I think this runs somewhere normally around $6 as well. And then a super rare one that I wish was talked about more, which is used for the floral, which is the Bob Ross Liquid Opal. Um, base coat that you put on. I've never had a chance to play around with this other than just one time. I would love to do more of this, but this runs right around 20 bucks. Okay, we have the Bob Ross value pack, which I've always been a huge fan of giving a gift to someone that's getting into wet and wet because it comes with your liquid white, liquid black, liquid clear, and the brush cleaner and conditioner, which actually works quite well. Not as good as the master brush cleaner, but this is pretty good. This value pack runs in right around 25 USD. So I know you're used to Bob Ross colors, but I have some more rare ones here that a lot of people don't get to play with. I've got my Indian yellow, my phalo green, mountain mixture, and dark sienna. Now you can buy a bunch of different colors from the Bob Ross company. I just like to have the complete set because you know I'm a fan. The tubes generally run you between about five and $25, depending on the size of the tube you get. But what a lot of people don't see is actually the Bob Ross soft colors that I have for floral painting. And these are really fun and they're like buttery smooth paints. They're kind of really interesting to play around with. And the colors are actually very pretty and unique. You've got mauve or mauve, not sure how some people say it out there. You got turquoise, you got dusky rose, and cadmium orange. There's a bunch of these out there, but the soft colors are really fun if you're into floral, which we'll get into in a moment. Oh yeah, and I guess I should mention, these also cost between about five and $25, depending on what tube you wanna go for, if you can still get and find them. So I obviously have a bunch of Bob Ross kits. This is the Bob Ross basic kit, which will run you right around $60 if you can still find this. They have an updated version that's the same thing, but I actually really appreciate the cover art on this and just use it as a display. Then I have the old Bob Ross master kit, which you generally find right around 80 USD on Amazon. You can still find the old kit sometimes from third party sellers, but uh, I, again, I kind of like the old school design. And here we have the brand new Bob Ross Master Set, which I've done a complete review video on, which you can check in the top right corner right now if you're interested. That comes with everything you need with your brushes and paints and everything like that. There's supposed to be a liquid white here, but I took it out for another video. But uh, this will run you right around the same price, generally around like $80, $85, which is actually, in my opinion, a good price if you want to jump into wet on wet painting. Here we have the Bob Ross Floral Set. This is what the old set was actually called. I believe the new updated version is just called the Flower Painting Set which is the one I would probably recommend because the box design's a lot prettier. But uh, the floral set is super fun, actually. It comes in right around $100 to $125. It's actually kind of expensive for what you get, but I do like it. You get all the colors you need and all the mediums and brushes that you want. And floral painting, believe it or not, if you like doing landscape painting, is something that's really fun because the colors are beautiful, they're soft, and surprisingly, you can make things that look like flowers, but I will let you know, it is hard, but super fun. We'll do more of these in the future when we grow our community a little bit more. So that's a little tease for something in the future. Hey, one more quick thing. I forgot about the floral kit. I actually have three extra floral kits out there if anybody's ever wanted to try flower painting with the wet on wet style. So if you're interested, hey, reach out to me in the comment section below and we can figure something out. All right, here's one that's super special and super rare. The Bob Ross Animal Wildlife Kit. Now I got the Jag and Baby, which you can see in the top right corner here. And uh, this is actually pretty cool. I have yet to crack into this thing and I've yet to try it. And I think if I remember correctly, it was about 50 to 75 USD. However, you can't get these anymore. So this is kind of like a little bit of a collector's item. You can't buy a full kit with everything that you need. They'll just sell like the pamphlets and like little worksheets. But uh, I've always wanted to try this, but I'm a little scared to crack into it because it does seem intimidating, but cool for a little collection piece. 
So next up we have my easel, obviously not gonna fit it onto the table here, but I'll show you pictures up on screen. It's an okay easel. I did a full review on it. If you wanna check in the top right corner, it's got to, it has its pluses and negatives and all that fun stuff. It's still, still good for wet on wet painters, but I think there's something better out there. That easel costs 250 to 275. Next up, we have just, you know, my assortment of brushes, and this is only a couple here that I wanted to show. You're so used to them. I have pretty much every brush out there except the Bob Ross Oval Brush. I lost that, I lost that when I went to a convention to go paint, so I need to get one. So if somebody's looking for a Christmas present, hey, I need one. All right, one of my favorite things are my Bob Ross Fun Coats. Now I got these as collectibles, and you see them all the time in the background of my videos. And you know what? These used to be super cheap and super easy to get. Not so much now, depending on which one you get. What I didn't know is that Funkos actually can raise in price because I think there's like a limited number of production. So these used to all cost me $20 that you can get on Amazon. Sometimes you still can. But I think it's, I think it's actually this one right here is now like worth $70. So hey, that was a good investment. But I love these Bob Ross Fun Coats. It's something fun to have Bob kind of look over your shoulder near your easel and give you a little bit of motivation when you need it. So here we have a fun one that I did a short little video on. It's a Bob Ross magazine that's kind of like a buy. It was $15 that I got actually at my local grocery store. But it has just so many different things about Bob Ross and his life and history and where the legacy is kind of gone. And it's actually a very interesting read. And I do recommend if you get the opportunity to find this anywhere at a grocery store or bargain bin, it's super fun because my favorite part is you actually get high res images of the paintings, which are good for references for painting as you go forward if you want to try to paint anything your else. Uh, anything your else. Anything else? Anything by yourself? There we go. We'll, we'll just keep going for it. Next is a gift that I was just recently giving, given, which is the Bob Ross Happy Little Trees Night Before Christmas. And it's kind of done um, almost like in a nursery rhyme where it goes through all his different paintings and it tells a fun story. And you know what? It's really, really cute. If I could turn this into a fun little animation that wouldn't get striked down by, you know, the Bob Ross company or whoever owns anything in this day and age or the publishing company, it's really cool. But if you have a young one that's in to Bob Ross, this is a cool little thing. And it's actually, I kid you not, a cool little fun story. Oh, and if you're wondering how much this book was, uh, $17, but it was a gift. So I don't know if that's the final price or if it's higher anywhere else. Another gift that I was recently given was a Bob Ross t-shirt. Look at this awesome anime style Bob Ross t-shirt that my friend got me for my birthday, which was just a couple of days ago. Um, it's cool, it's awesome, I love the design. I mean, just look, just look at how awesome Bob is. Let me just get that detail in there. It's so cool. This was a gift, if I had to take a shot in the dark of how much it costs, I would say probably 15 to $25. I have no idea where he got it from, but if you're interested, I can always reach out if you wanna get yourself a cool little t-shirt just like that. Two other things that were given to me as a gift that are just fun things. When you have friends, they get you stuff that they see in the store. I got a Bob Ross plushie, which is from Funny, which I think is owned by Kid Robot. There we go, it's 10 bucks. Cool little plushie. You can sometimes see this guy over my shoulder. He, he kind of like peeks out and looks over me to make sure I'm doing a good job. But uh, it's a cool little plushie. And then my friend got this at like a discount grocery store or something like that. It's basically fun dip, but with Bob Ross. Instead of a stick, you get the paintbrush and you get all your colors and things like that kind of cool. I imagine it's only a few bucks, but uh, I like to have these little decorations around my, my painting studio and office because I find it to be actually inspirational at times when you're going through those very, very, very bad happy accidents. And there you go. Those are all the things that I have over my shoulder when I make these videos. I just want to do a little kind of behind the scenes and show you what everything is. I have a lot more stuff, but those were kind of the fun things that I wanted to show to all you cool people out there. If you have a friend that's into Bob Ross or yourself, hey, don't be afraid to get yourself something because it's fun to have it be in your studio. And like I said, it's kind of motivating, which is nice. If you want any more kind of like fun off the cuff videos just like this, hey, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit like subscribe and if you want you can become a channel member because that would be an awesome holiday present to myself for as low as one dollar you can help support me on my creative journey and help me buy more pop ross fun codes because obviously they keep going up in price i'll catch you all later have a good one take care miss you already and i'll see you in the next video peace